Well, one of the most recent studies we did at CRU working on the rhinos was to actually look at rhinoceros horn. Um, we're curious to know if there are some chemicals in the rhino horn or some elements of the rhino horn that'll give us some indication about the rhino's overall health and well-being. And of course, that's one of our greatest concerns is making sure our rhinos are thriving in our zoos. So we started analyzing rhino horn and the first thing we looked at was minerals and found a large number of minerals are in rhino, rhino horn and we're now at a point of moving to the second phase which is gonna be to see if they relate to um, health conditions of our rhinos. So we're pretty excited about it. We're pretty excited about our findings. But what's even more interesting about the results of our study is the fact that even though there's a lot of minerals in rhino horn, the concentrations are really, really low. So when you think about rhinos and the challenges rhinos are facing, they are being poached for their horns, right? Um, and it's been decimating our rhino populations. And the reason they're poached is because people think rhino horn has medicinal properties, uh, which is really somewhat of a myth. Well, our data now shows that the mineral content of a rhino horn is so low, it couldn't possibly be helping with human health issues. Um, there are some toxic minerals in the horn as well, but those are also at fairly low concentrations. Um, but we do feel like, you know, people need to get the message that it, they're better off taking a, a multivitamin mineral supplement every morning rather than turning to something like rhinoceros horn, which is illegal and extremely expensive. Um, the other thing we found, interestingly enough, is that the exterior portion of the rhino horn, so that outer layer, is just filled with dirt. I mean, it is filled with soil. You think about a rhino living in the wild and they're in mud wallows all the time and they're digging for food and water in the dirt and that dirt gets embedded into that horn. So if you're buying medicine from somebody that has rhino horn products in it, you could be getting a lot of dirt and paying a lot of money for it. So it really doesn't make much sense. And the rhino horn is not homogenous, so it, you're gonna get a different makeup of minerals depending on where you, the sample came from. Um, there's not a lot of quality control with it. You know, I think our take home message for people who are even considering rhino horn as medicine is that whatever ails you, your illness, if you're not feeling well, see a professional doctor, get medicine that is scientifically proven to help your condition. You know, leave our magnificent rhinos and their dirty little horns alone. <laughs>